Hey, it's Ella from Spline. We just had a new launch and you might be excited to know that you can now design and export native 3D for Android. This means designers can create apps without having to code from scratch and bring all of the interactivity and materials from your Spline 3D designs beyond the web and into Android devices. In this video, we'll show you how to use Spline Android Runtime to export native 3D. All right, let's get started. There are multiple ways to export for Android, like embed native 3D using Kotlin code snippets, or you can generate Android packages or Android app bundles. So the first step, if you don't have it already, is to install the Android Studio so you can build an Android application and of course have a scene created in Spline already. And I'm going to be using this scene from Spline. It's a mini game with this cute little bunny and everything was made entirely in Spline. So I can move around this little bunny and the spacebar to jump. This was created in Spline using game controls. If you wanna learn more about game controls, we have a tutorial on our channel, so make sure to check that out. One of the simplest ways to export for Android is by generating an Android Studio project. Everything will work seamlessly without the need to code as it automatically generates the entire studio project for you. Let's go to export. And here under Android, we can select the app bundle option. You can add a PNG image here as your app icon, ensuring that it's 1024 by 1024. And we can also change the name of our app here. Let's call this Bunny Minigame. So when it comes to embedding your 3D into your Android Studio project, you can do it in two ways, either from the cloud or locally. If you choose to embed from the cloud, you'll need to be connected to the internet. This allows you to easily make updates to your design in Spline. For example, if you change the color of an object in your final design and you want this updated in your Android Studio project, all you would need to do is hit update in the export panel. Then the changes will automatically be reflected in your final design. On the other hand, local embeds load faster because they don't require an internet connection. If you choose to embed locally, you'll download the spline file and use that in your app. Instead of loading the spline file from a URL, the file is loaded from the app's local directory, similar to other assets in your app, such as icons or images. Let's look at how we can integrate from the cloud. And now let's click on this button that says Generate Android Studio Project. Let's wait a little bit while it downloads. And when you check your downloads, you'll notice that you now have a zip file. Let's unzip it. Now let's hop into Android Studio and click here on the open option and select the unzipped folder. And now we can click trust project and here let's click OK. Now we just have to wait a moment while our project is being built. So we can see how the project has been built and our scene is integrated automatically. We can click here to see the preview of our scene and that's basically it. By default, when you play the 3D experience in the Android simulator, the performance will likely be slow. This is because the Android simulator uses the CPU to preview your graphics. However, your Android device uses the GPU instead, which is a lot faster. So if you want to test the real experience, you can run the app in your device instead of using the simulator. Or alternatively, you can enable the GPU acceleration on your Android simulator to improve the performance of the preview. So something to keep in mind. You can of course make real time changes to your scenes. So let's go back into Spline and have a little fun and we can make some changes to the color of our scene. So we can start with our little bunny friend here and maybe we change some colors of the elements over here. And all we have to do is go to export. Now we can go to the embed in the Android platform section 
and click on update. And now we just have to hit reload here to see the changes. Just have to wait a little bit and that's it. You can also substitute this scene in your project with another by simply replacing the scene link, just copy and pasting, and again, no coding needed. For example, I have this other scene that I think would look pretty cool. Go to export here in the embed in the Android platform section. Let's go ahead and copy the link snippet. Go back to Android Studio and we can paste the link here in the main activity. Just remember, you have to reload to see the change. And our new scene is there. Super easy. Now let's go into Android Studio. First, we're going to create a new project and then we're going to add our Spline Android runtime. And here we can adjust the name. Let's use Bunny Demo. Here we can select the language. Let's keep this on Kotlin. Now we can click Finish. Now let's just wait for a little bit here as everything is being built. And in the Spline Docs, you can find the lines of code that will help us add the Spline Android runtime. First, we need to copy this implementation code. Now that the project is built, open your project's build.gradle.kts file and add this line of code under the dependencies. Then make sure to go here and press the sync now button to apply the changes. To import the Spline Android runtime, add this code to the top of the file where the Spline runtime is used. Let's go to the Kotlin Java folder here. Now I'm going to click here and go to main activity and paste the code right here. So if you're going to use a cloud embed, you will need to allow your app to have internet access. So this is really important. Now let's copy these two lines of code, go to manifest and then Android manifest. All right, great. We're almost there. Now let's go back to our scene in Spline. So from the top toolbar here, we can hit export to open up the export panel and under the Android platform section, let's select embed. Copy the code snippet and paste it on mainactivity.kt. Let's go to the Kotlin Java folder here. Now I'm going to click here and go to main activity, scroll down and we're going to delete and replace this pasting the code that we've copied before in Spline. Let's go ahead and delete this. And before we move on, something important to keep in mind is since this embedded code snippet utilizes Android View, ensure you include this code wherever you're embedding your Spline scene. Now let's make some small adjustments to my main activity. I'm going to change greeting. So let's use my view and then we can delete this line. This part is looking fine. So let's move along. And here in my view, I'm going to add modifier colon modifier equals modifier. And again, here in greeting, I'm going to delete it and put my view. Here, let's do modifier again. 
And here, let's have my view preview. Awesome, looking good. Now by clicking on this button, we can create a virtual device to see the preview of our app. You can pick what kind of device type you want to use. I'm going to pick tablet. Now click on finish. By clicking here, we can see the preview of the device. Now if we click here, it should be able to launch and we'll have a preview of our scene. Awesome. You can export your 3D content for Android devices by generating an Android package file, which is an APK, or a pre-built Android app bundle directly from Spline. You can learn more about this in the docs. And for more information on publishing to the Google Play Store, refer to the Android documentation on publishing your app. We'll have it linked below. Full coverage of the Spline feature for the Vulkan renderer is expected to be ready in Q4 2024. In our docs, you can check this list and see how it is updated weekly until everything is fully supported. And that is it for this tutorial. We will show you more on the possibilities in upcoming tutorials. You can find much more information in our docs and become an app creator and create apps without the need to code from scratch. It's a simplified way to go from design straight into production. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.